I'm so thankful. I'm honored to be here and want to continue to encourage you to do what you're doing this morning because it is important uh, to ride the jet. I want to thank your vice president for inviting uh, me this morning uh, to speak with you all as it relates to what our nation and our world is going through. We have to admit that for the first time we're at a, we're at a precipice of life where change is necessary. It does not matter what the skin color is. As I, if I were to ask you right now that you have anything to do with the skin color that you're encapsulated in, your answer would be no. And with that understood, it's in the book of Jeremiah how it is that God said he would lift the skirt of the nation to expose its shame. So there's a shame that we have to come this morning and around this nation to admit that we got some things that we need to work on. We did not get here overnight. Come on, somebody. Right. And it's not going to take an overnight thing to change what we're going through. So I just wanted to remind you why you're doing what you're doing. And I'm going to echo what your vice president said. This is not the protesting in the way of trying to push back, but it's trying to educate the world and this nation from what we all have to recognize as a situation that needs to be addressed. Uh, we here have an opportunity, and I'm looking around and I'm thankful this morning that there is not just one skin color represented here. And I'm thankful that we have here in Sierra Vista a relationship with our law enforcement, our judicial system, where things can be addressed in a right way. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just want you all to understand that your right for justice is just that. It's not the justice necessarily that some of us have experienced uh, growing up where we say justice is blind. We know that that's not necessarily the case, but that's what we're what? Hoping for. We hope that our justice system can look beyond our issues, can look beyond uh, our cultural identities, can look beyond our geographic issues. But where we can educate, let's do that. We have an opportunity this morning to do just that as you ride together in this what I call unified manner it doesn't matter what this bike club looks like, you're bikers. Is that my feeling right? Like? Bikers? Is that, is that the right affiliation? I, I don't want to insult anyone. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, was, I was sharing not long ago with another person. I said, you know, my wife won't let me ride one of those uh, as, a, as a concern for my own safety. And I'm thankful for her having that concern, amen. But I, I, I live vicariously through you all. When I see you all riding down the road, I said, boy, I could be one of those. <laughs> and, and so ride for justice this month. Ride for justice in the sense that you all are unifying a group. And, and for the very purpose of saying, uh, we recognize that we need to make a change. We recognize that though we look different on the outside, God says, I look on the heart of mankind. And that's the thing I hope you all are looking at. You're looking beyond the skin color. And, and that's the important message to take forward is that we're doing it because we are brothers and sisters in the spirit. God said he is no respecter of person. Well, what does that mean? He doesn't look at us like we look at us. Come on, somebody. Yes. So if we can look through this from God's eyes, then we'll understand how important each of us are to the very existence of humanity. So I'm thankful that we are at a point where we have brought this discussion to the surface. We can sit in our room, we can sit in our houses, and we can talk about things, uh, what I call it a very uh, uninhibited way. But when we bring this to the forefront, the question is, are we going to be, uh, be human enough to 
say the things that we need to say to one another, but for the sole purpose of educating, for the sole purpose of saying we all have an opportunity to get to know one another beyond our skin color. If we can do that, then we'll serve the purpose of why we're doing what we're doing this morning. So I'm so I'm so thankful. I'm honored to be here and want to continue to encourage you to do what you're doing this morning because it is important uh, to ride the justice. It is important to ride the justice. So as you're riding down the road, ride for justice. As you're riding down the road, remember the people who have somehow or another been victimized and somehow or another been un unfortunately have died at the hands of, I would say, some individuals uh, who did not see that that was their brother, that that was, could have been their sister, that could have been their child, that could have been a loved one. So I want to pray for our law enforcement. I want to pray for us as a people. Pray for us as a nation. Because we have to start looking at one another as if we were brothers and sisters, uh, relatives as well, and not just a different group of people that somehow or another uh, over the years we did not look at each other as we should. Is that all right? Yes, sir. With your heads bowed, then, and then your eyes closed, let us go before the gracious God of our universe and pray for the unity that we are seeing this morning. Heavenly Father, I come into the midst of these men and women. God asking us, you, O oh Lord, to look upon them as they ride. Lord, we're asking that you keep your hand of safety around them. Lord, shelter them according to Psalms 91, where it says, he that sits in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So Lord, be their fortress, be their protection as they ride for justice this morning. Lord, remind them that it's about the unification of a people that where the strength truly lies. It's not God where some people say that knowledge is power. It's where shared knowledge is power. So Lord, as we share the knowledge that you've enlightened us with God this morning, Lord, let us also then reach out to our brothers and sisters of different colors, our brothers and sisters of different ethnicities, our brothers and sisters of different geographical locations. And so God, it does not matter what's on the outside of us, what truly matters is the heart of us. So Lord, speak to our hearts this morning. Speak to the nation's heart, from the President of the United States all the way down to our local officials. Lord, touch them, God, to allow them to see your people through your eyes. And God, what a beautiful sight it is that your word says you are no respecter of person. So God, thank you for reminding us that we are all brothers and sisters, that we are all your creation. And so God, thank you so much for your safety to be upon these men and women as they mount their uh, cycles, oh God, and, and head down the road riding for justice. Lord, I lift up our local uh, law enforcement officials to your God, from the chief of police, the sheriff department, Lord, all of those who have, have uh, sworn an oath to protect and serve. And that sworn oath to protect and serve is supposed to be colorblind. It is supposed to be uh, uh, irrespective of person. So God, remind our law enforcement what those words truly mean, to protect and serve. And then God, we ask as we lift up our legal system, God, that legal system, oh God, let it become the system, oh God, where it's judged uh, on merit and not on what people see on the outside. God, treat us, God, as you would want us to be treated. And then that allows us then to treat one another as we should treat one another. So God, I thank you this morning as we lift up the very purpose of this ride, this ride for justice. Lord, keep your hand of protection round about. Lord, as they ride down the roads, Lord, let them be shielded from all of the, the evil looks that they might get. Lord, let them be shielded by some of the uh, e e events, oh God, that could easily happen as they ride together this morning. So Lord, I'm just thankful this morning that uh, according to Psalms 91, your word also says, you allow your angels to take charge over their very lives. So God, thank you again according to what your word says. Lord, because we know that you are a God that ha holds on to your promises. So God, thank you this morning, and we bless your holy name, and we give your name the praise and honor that it deserves. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, and we all say amen. amen. God bless you all. Ride safely and be loving towards one another as you take this trip uh, down this, this path to justice. Amen. Amen. amen.
Gioz. <laughs>